Hi everyone, my name's Rhiannon from Blue Dog Board Games and today we're going to do a solo playthrough of the small card game, The Bloody Inn. So um, we're all set up ready to go. Um, I have a starting hand of two peasants. In the solo game, two peasants are also placed in the bistro. And we have 10 francs to start us off. So let's get going. I have one um, annex to bury some bodies in. So let's see how many we can, <laughs> we can get. Uh, so we're gonna welcome our travelers in the first instance. I think you're gonna go there because you look quite nice. You're a level three, so I'm probably not going to be able to get to you. Okay, so I have two actions to take. What do I want to do? So he's a level three, so I'm going to disregard him because he's going to be too powerful for me at the moment. I'm not going to be able to do anything. Um, bribery, from now on play one fewer accomplice to perform the briber guest action. That's quite nice. But then I want to start out strong. From now on, play one fewer accomplice to perform the build and annex action. These are both really nice. If I could build both of these. Okay, I'm going to bribe you and bribe you. I don't know if that's a bit keen to start off with. Okay, done our two actions, so police investigation. There's no police officers in our inn. Um, travellers leave, so he is staying in my room. I am yellow, so he pays me one franc, but then the rest of the guests leave, and I have to pay my accomplices, so they cost one franc each. And then we're on to the next round, so let's welcome the travellers again. So I want to try and build stuff. So I could bribe him for free, which would be quite good. Another level three. Okay. Uh, so I ideally want to build both of these annexes. So I think what I might do is bribe, no, let's bribe, let's bribe both of these. When you bribe um, from the peasant stack, you gain two, unless you have a card which alters that. Then I'm going to, I think, build this annex. Yeah, okay. And that's my round, that's two actions. So he pays me one, but I have to spend two on my accomplices. You're level three as well. It's a little bit keen right now to start thinking of level threes. And there's a lot of police officers in here. <laughs> okay. Um, so actually, because I've got this one now, from now on pay one fewer accomplice to perform the build and annex action. So I could, sorry, build you for free. You're a level one. You would usually have to pay one person. Um, and then I think I might, I might actually start killing in a second. So let's bribe you for free. And so you pay me one, and then I have to pay two. And next go. Oh, that's nice as well. Immediately replace one of the white key tokens with one of your key tokens. So basically they'll be giving you an extra frank every single round, because they will be staying in your room if they're, st if they're still alive. <laughs> It's still a level one annex though. Level three. Oh wow, level three and a level three. Okay. <clears throat> Maybe I should look to kill a level three. 
I really like this one. This is immediately gain four francs. At the end of the game, gain four francs per red card and exit stack. That's really nice, but you know what? I'm actually going to bribe you guys. Um, and then I'm going to kill the Marquise with the hope that I'm going to build one of these at some point in the game. So to kill the Marquise, he's a level three, so I need to pay three people but he has an affinity for killing, so I take him back into my hand. These guys go down there, and I've killed the Marquis, so he goes face down. I don't gain any money from it yet. I only get that when I bury them. <laughs> so, unfortunately I killed the guy that was in my room, so I don't gain any money, and I have to pay my remaining two francs on my two um, uh, remaining accomplices. So these guys go into the exit stack. And then we welcome some new guests. Come into our inn. Right, I need to do some burying. I need to do some burying. Right, so I don't really want anything to do with you right now. I might want you. And I really do need to get rid of the body because we've got a nice police officer that's come to stay, the mayor. <laughs> Well, it was a major, sorry, not a mayor. <laughs> so we really need to get rid of this body. So what we might actually do, I want to, I want to keep this guy. I want to keep the peacekeeper, if I'm honest, because he's going to help bury, uh, kill stuff in a minute. <clears throat> so what I think I might do is bribe two peasants. And then I'm going to bury my level three person under my barn to get 26 coins. Um, you can always bury um, a body under your player aid card. It can only house one body though. Okay, yeah, so I gained 26, which is very nice. Okay, um, next round. So he gives me one, but then I have to pay one to keep my peacekeeper. The track only goes up to 40 francs, so you need to be a bit careful about sort of gaining money when you're at the maximum. Um, you either need to launder it or you just don't gain it. So it's a bit of a, you have to use one of your turns to sort of sacrifice to um, launder that money. It's very cool. <laughs> Ooh, the abbot could be nice. What have we got? Mm. What are we on? 26. We could kill a level 1 person. And then launder next time. Let's have a look at their, what are they called, annexes. From now on, play one fewer accomplice to perform bury a corpse action. Immediately gain one franc. But I can't actually bury, these are level zero cards, so I can't actually bury any corpses under there. So he's the only one that I'd be interested in from a building perspective at this moment in time, because these are more end of game scoring bits and pieces. That could be quite nice, but is it better to actually kill someone right now? I think I want to kill someone. So he's a level one, so I'm going to pay one person to kill him. But I get him straight back because he's got an affinity for killing. So I'll put one in here. Um, I think I might just get some peasants, you know. Okay, so um, I actually have three, but I get one, so minus two. They go into the exit stack. Ooh, the butcher. So their power in their annex is, from now on you can kill as many travellers as you want in one kill a guest action. 
that's so risky in the solo mode though because if at any time in the game you're caught with a corpse you can't bribe the uh, local undertaker to bury your corpses for you you just automatically lose the game <clears throat> so I don't actually know whether that's that's good because if you can't bury them at any point you're in trouble <laughs> um, I might want you the prince at the end of the game gain three francs per check you have oh I want to build that I think and the mechanic from now on pay, play one fewer accomplice to perform build and annex that's what I've got here it doesn't really clarify in the rules but I think the powers accumulate so if I bought two of those cards I would pay two fewer accomplices for that particular action but it doesn't really say so my first action I'm going to bribe the prince and I want to look to build you at some point. Uh, he is a level three, but I have this card from now on, pay one fewer, so I don't have to pay the three. I can only pay, I should only pay two. Uh, then I think I might actually now kill this level one guy. Oh, I've still got a corpse. I've got a corpse. I need to bury him because I've got a police officer coming out next time. <laughs> Forgot my rotting body. <laughs> um, you know what, I'm actually going to kill this guy. So now I've got two corpses that I need to get rid of. Okay, so I gain one from him but I have to pay for these two, so I'm minus one. These go into the exit stack. And out comes the peacekeeper. So you're gonna stay, because I can't, I'm not gonna kill any more people today. Because it's too risky. I don't want to get into a situation where I won't be able to bury everyone. So I'm going to now bury you for free to get me eight coins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then unfortunately, I am gonna take a little bit of a loss, but I think it was probably worth it. So pay you to bury this guy as well, to get 12, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Investigate, because we got a police officer in our inn. He's actually staying in my room, but he's very happy with his stay. He can't see any corpses lying around. So he's going to pay me one, but I'm at the maximum, but I do then have to pay for my accomplice. So everyone goes into the exit stack. And then welcome some more people. I don't want to build another one of you, I don't think. I want a level three annex now. What have we got? Distiller. At the end of each round, do not pay the wages for one of your accomplices in your hand. Wow, that's nice. So I need to build you. So I'm going to, I'm not gonna worry about that right now. I'm just gonna build this. So I'm gonna bribe. And this, oh, now I can actually build because from now on pay one fewer accomplice. So he's level three, I only need to pay two people. So I'm paying the peasants and I've now built the greenhouse from the help of the prince. I gain one from that. The mechanic staying in my room. I have no accomplices anymore, so I don't have to pay anything. So these guys all just go out here. Oh, here we go. We've got a level three, another level three. Immediately gain four francs. At the end of the game, gain four francs per purple card in the exit stack. I haven't got any accomplices though. <laughs> I think we might. I won't be able to. I will actually. I'm going to bribe two peasants. Then I'm going to 
bribe this bishop. I want to try and build this annex as well. So I only have to pay two to bribe. So that's great. I've got one guy in my hand. He pays me one, but I can't go off there. So I just pay the bishop one coin to be quiet about my antics. You will disappear. Right, what I need to do now is launder and get this built as well as balancing killing people. More likely to keep you in there, I think. Concierge, immediately place a room service token next to a key token. From now on, when a guest rents this room, immediately gain money equal to his rank. That's fantastic, that's so good, but I'm just gonna have way too many annexes now. Um, so actually, I might think about killing someone. I think I might, I might launder. Let's launder. So I'm gonna, you can do it in denominations of 10. So um, I'm on 39 at the moment. I want to have a little bit of leeway just so I, um, uh, you know, if, even if I was on 40, I think I'd only launder 30 francs worth of money because I don't want to end up with no money to pay people with. So I'm just gonna take 30 francs in the form of notes. and that pushes me down to nine. And then I think I am going to kill the Baron. And then that's my two actions. So you uh, pay me one franc, but then I have to pay the Bishop. So nothing happens there. And these go into the exit stack. Now the game is done in two rounds. So we've now um, gone through the stack for the first time. I'm going to reshuffle it and then we go through the stack a second time and then the game ends. So bear with me while I shuffle. Okay, so we are ready to keep going. So uh, let's welcome the Count and his friends into our hotel. Well, inn. It's the bloody inn, not bloody hotel. Um, I think you're going to probably still be alive, so you can go in my room. We've got a couple of police officers coming out. So we need to get rid of this corpse. <laughs> okay, um, I think then we might bury you. Bury me, bury me. Yeah, let's bury you. Let's bury you. Eight francs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then I think I'm going to bribe these guys. Um, and then next time I should be able to build this. Okay, so he pays me one, but then I have to pay three. One, two, three. Okay, I think you're potentially gonna still be here. Probably. I don't have any people with an affinity, affinity for killing right now. Plus we've got a second major coming out, so I'm not gonna be killing one and burying them on the same go. <laughs> um, so I think I'm just going to pay my two peasants to build this annex. And I immediately gain four francs. One, two, three, four. At the end of the game, gain four francs per purple card in the exit stack. So I'm gonna be conscious about killing purple people now. Um, and then, what do I want to do? I need to do some killing. So, I, these guys are a little bit, I'd have to pay two people to bribe them and so I won't be able to pay, get them onto my hand this, this go. So I think I might just bribe peasants, you know. Let's go with the peasants. Yeah, so you pay me one but I have to pay two so I just decrease by one. All of you guys go into the exit stack. So purple people, I want to try and keep you alive. 
Okay. I might pop you in there and have a look at maybe killing the Viscount. I need some money now. I need to start generating more money because I could kill and bury. I think I might do that. Kill the Viscount and then he's level one. Bury the Viscount and he gives me 12 coins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I need to start getting my money up because I earn three francs per check I have at the end of the game. So he gives me one. I don't have any accomplices right now. And I've managed to keep these purple people alive. <laughs> um, you're a level two. You see, like, level two people seem to be quite nice to kill. I don't want to kill the purple level two. But then again, I've got a police officer coming out now, but I've got no people in my hands. I also need to launder. So I'm going to launder to get 30 francs in checks. And then I think I might bribe the brigadier. For free, because I can deep pay one fewer. And then kill people next turn, perhaps. Yeah. So he pays me, but I pay the brigadier. I don't even know if it's called brigadier or is it brigadier. I don't even know what it is. <laughs> Baron, you're definitely going to be here. You're too cheap now. Peacekeeper. Ooh, we got a level three. Oh, that's, that's annoying because I won't be able to kill and bury him on the same go. You know what? I'm going to kill... Oh, I don't know. I'm going to kill you. And kill you. Oh my god. So many corpses. Um, so I pay you. Uh, you pay me. I pay you. I really need to get rid of these corpses. I should have waited. I could have killed you. It's fine. It's fine. <clears throat> So, um, my two actions then, I'm going to bury this level zero corpse for, by paying no people, because he's level zero. Um, that gives me uh, eight, so I'm on nine. And then I'm going to have no choice really, but to pay that guy to bury this level one corpse. 12 coins, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. He pays me one. I don't have any accomplices anymore. Come on, I need to get a level three corpse. Be nice and juicy. Um, you're going to be too cheap. Oh, a level three corpse. Let's try and... Well, I won't be able to now. <laughs> but Because I've got no accomplices, but... Do I risk the, the level three coming up in this stack? Or shall I just focus on level two corpses? I might focus on level two corpses. Because there's only eight coins difference. So I'm gonna bribe the peasants. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I think I'm going to kill do I want to kill the abbot? What's he going to give me? He's going to give me four francs at the end of the game. So I'm better off actually killing... No, I am better off killing him. Oh, I don't know. 
<laughs> I would only have to pay one peasant there. I'm going to keep a peasant. I'm going to kill you instead. I've killed the level one guy. So I've killed the guy in my room, so I have to pay one for the peasant. I'm trying to keep the purples alive because they're going to earn me money at the end of the game. And also it'd be good to try and keep some peasants back just in case a level three does come out and then I could kill them. But I think I'm going to run out of time a little here. We've only got like one or two goats left. And then we also need to launder because at the end of the game I'm going to be getting extra points. But um, it, we're already maxed, if we're already maxed out at 40 we can't go beyond that so we have to make sure you launder before you start counting your money. I've only got room for one more corpse as well. I've got one here, he's going to go in there. I've got one more corpse I can bury. Okay, I think I'm going to bury, bury this guy. The 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then I think I'm just going to launder. I don't really want to be caught with a full wallet at the end of the game. And that won't be good. Um, yeah, good. So he pays me one, the mechanic, and then I don't have any accomplices right now. So all of these guys just go into the stack. And let's see who we've got. The Baron. Oh, we've got some level threes. Yep, last round it is. Okay. Uh, I didn't move that down, so, okay. I don't have any accomplices, but I can kill you and bury you for free because you're level zero. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You pay me one and I have no accomplices. Oh, that was a good last round. Wow, okay, so that's the end of the game. We only go through the stack twice. Um, your base score is however many francs you've got. So we've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And then you have a look at any level three annexes and they should give you uh, like extra points. Not all of them, I'm not sure if all of them do actually. Maybe they do. So we've got this one at the end of the game, gain three francs per check you have. Um, so we have 10, so we gain 30. Wow, okay. <laughs> so um, you actually take your your track score as well. So we're already, unfortunately, maxed out. So we're on 40 there, which is still pretty good. And we would have gained um, four francs per purple card in the exit stack as well. So yeah, we would have gained an extra Purple, 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 purple. Oh my God, there's so many purples. We did so well. But we didn't because we didn't launder enough. <laughs> so we would have gained, how many we've got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times four. So what's that, 32? God, I got 32 as well there. So. Yeah, unfortunately, we can't do that. So we have got 140, which is, that's not bad. Dangerous innkeeper. <laughs> I like how it's only dangerous. I've killed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine people, and I'm only dangerous. <laughs> Still, we've actually ranked, so that's good. And we managed to not get caught with any corpses in our, in our inn. So that's a bonus. So thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the playthrough. Come back in a moment and I will tell you my thoughts on this game. So a couple of thoughts on the Bloody Inn. Um, this is one that I heard quite a lot about from a solo perspective. Um, lots of people have said it was really good for solo play and I found it in a uh, local board game cafe for sale. Um, I wasn't really looking for it uh, specifically at the time. It was just one that was sort of on my radar but I saw it and picked it up 
and um, I had absolutely no idea what to expect. I didn't ever watch any playthroughs of it, I didn't really know what sort of game it was. Um, I know that it was my sort of theme, I like um, <laughs> some darker themes in my game sometimes. Um, and I was really, really surprised uh, how well it plays, It, especially solo, I really like it solo. It plays very slightly differently um, multiplayer, but not much of the main mechanics are exactly the same, but I feel like the ebb and flow is a little bit different. In a multiplayer game you can bury corpses in your neighbour's annexes, you do sh share the money that you get from the, the body's pockets, um, but this one you have to build all the annexes yourself. I think this game plays really fast, it plays in about 20 minutes to half an hour, it is absolutely perfect for when you've got just that amount of time and want to like throw around some cards. It's a really clever game in that you, it, somebody said to me on um, Facebook on one of my pages before when I posted about playing, that it's a game that you want three actions on your turn but you only ever have two and I really really see that that is completely true. It's um, you're always sort of balancing like where, when you launder your money and when you build because you want to build those level three an annexes to get those end game scoring points. But you saw in my playthrough that I built, built two level three annexes, but I only managed to score on one of them because I'd already like maxed out the track. So I think it's actually a really clever game in that you have to really sort of concentrate on balancing like what sort of annexes you build, so not just I'll just build loads of them so you can have the amount of corpses that you want and need, but you also want to really pay attention to their final powers. You don't want to be scoring too much at the end of the game because you won't be able to physically score. You need to um, think about like how many car, like who you're actually killing, so like I was trying to preserve the purple people as much as possible um, to try and get the end game scoring. And so, but but they're really good at burying people, helping you bury. They've got an affinity for burying, so it's a it's so so clever. And I love the little special powers where you can, um, but, you know, they have an affinity for like building annexes. So you want to try and gain them into your hand, but then you're paying them every round. So when do you get rid of them? Do you do you actually kill them? But then you might not be scoring for them at the end of the game. And very very clever. Uh, fantastic game and I've now played it with my husband as well, he really likes it as, as well, it's a really really clever little game. Not too much of a high price point either, um, hopefully quite widely available, I'd never actually seen it before in a shop but it's not one that I had been specifically searching for as I said so um, you should be able to pick it up and um, it's also really pretty to look at. The artwork is very unique, it's sort of uh, cartoony um, but it fits the theme quite well, and I would highly recommend this game. I absolutely love it. It's turning into one of my most played games of the year so far. It just plays so fast and it's fabulous. So, 10 out of 10 for me. I absolutely would recommend this to the moon and back. So, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye bye.